am Rashagal, matriarch of the Dark Templar, and I welcome you and your companions to our world. Zeratul has informed me of the fall of iron, and I am deeply grieved. I am one of the few Dark Templar old enough to remember our ancestral home with clarity. Yet no matter how tragic the circumstances, it is clear that fortune has reunited our people. We, Dark Templar, will never forget our banishment from Ayr, nor the Conclave's sins against us. But you and your companions are no longer of the Conclave. The example set by your fallen hero, Tassadar, has shown you that when the light and dark sides of our energies are united, our power is undeniable. But Matriarch, the Zerg who have followed us here are unlike any enemy the Protoss have ever known. You speak the truth, Judicator. And yet, there lies a dormant power here that can help us to scour the Zerg from Shakuris forever. Long ago, we Dark Templar were a nomadic people. But when we found a remarkable monument upon this world, we decided to remain here to study it. We discovered that the enormous structure is actually an ancient Zelnaga temple dedicated to the race that sired us all. The temple is situated above a nexus of powerful cosmic energies. If we were to access those energies... Then we should strike now while the Zerg still muster their forces. Alas, we cannot. In order to properly channel the energies of the temple, we will need the twin crystals, Urash and Talus, that legends say were separated many ages ago. The Urash is laced with pure Templar energies, while the Kallus is comprised of dark Templar energy. Only by using these two crystals in unison can we hope to channel the potent energies of the Temple. Then it is clear that we must retrieve these crystals, wherever they may be. Agreed. But first, we must deal with the Zerg and their two Cerebrates who have already taken up station around the Temple itself. To arms, my children. Scour the table grounds of this foul infestation. Remember, young Templar, Cerebrates can be killed only by dark Templar weapons and energies. My brethren will make short work of any Cerebrate. I'm waiting, Neroscudio. Neroscudio. For iron. Executor, our sensors show that the two Cerebrates are surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our Corsairs to compensate for their defenses. I don't do it, us. Yes. 
for battle. Let us attack. Oh, at last. <laughs>
instructions initiated knockout soon. Oh, 
I'm glad to see that you all are as violent as ever. Kerrigan, what mockery is this? Relax, warriors. Despite what you may think, I haven't come here to fight you. This is laughable. Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If you let me explain, I'm sure you'll understand that- You are the enemy of all who live, Kerrigan. What makes you think we would have anything to do with you? Because, Zeratul, I bring news of an event that threatens us all. If you'd be so good as to escort me back to your citadel, I'll tell you everything I know. Very well, Kerrigan. We shall hear what you have to say. But be warned. We will not suffer your treachery here. <laughs> 